all of this is fake. It's all for nothing. If Jesus didn't rise from the dead, in fact, as Paul says in his letter to the Corinthians, if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, then those who say they did are liars and they're misrepresenting God and we are dead in our sins. But, Paul says, and the whole witness of the New Testament says, it has happened. Christ has risen. Or as we say, Christ is risen. And you say? He is risen Not just a cheerleading kind of slogan, but an affirmation of an actual historical event that makes all the difference. We gather here looking back to those events. In fact, we spent much of this last week, if you were a part of any worship services here or elsewhere, we spent much of this week looking back at those final days, those final hours of Jesus' earthly life and ministry. It's good to look back, but it's essential to life to look forward. If you have your Bibles with you this morning, I'd like you to look at just one short phrase in our gospel account in Matthew chapter 28. If you don't have a Bible handy, please, in your bulletin, you'll find it printed in there. Looks like it's on page 8 at the top. We're told how the women came very early as the day was dawning that they got to witness an angel who rolled back the stone. So terrifying was this event that the guards who were set there to keep watch over the grave were paralyzed for fear, like, like dead men. And then the angel comes and speaks to them. Verse 5, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Verse 6, he is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And now read with me. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. Again, and indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. Look at that phrase. He is going ahead of you. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I suggest to you this morning that that Easter promise is not only seen looking back, but perhaps is best seen looking forward. Looking forward in faith and trust that any place you might go, Jesus is already there. We're going to watch a brief video that might help shape this a little for us. Drew, Laura, it's so good to see you. It's been so long. Jesus, what is he doing? You're supposed to be dying right now. What? Get back oh. up on the cross and stay there until we tell oh. you to come down. Play dead. Oh, but I haven't seen you in so long, you know? I mean, I just want to sit and talk. Jesus, I'm so sorry you had to die for us. That must have been so terrible. Yes, uh, I died, but look, I want you to concentrate on my life. I'm alive now, you know. Technically, you're not alive until the last five minutes of service. Now, put this on. What, what are you doing? I, I've already been through all this, guys. Look, let's focus on our life together. Okay, Jesus, we're remembering you. We're sorry you had to suffer. Yes, I suffered, but I want you to understand what the suffering was for. It's so that you could live like me. Did you really go to hell for us? Oh, I can't imagine what that was like. Was it hot? Did you see Satan? Okay, is this a joke? You know, Jesus, you're not taking your death very seriously. Now, please, be respectful of what you did 2,000 years ago. Uh, okay, um, my death is where life began. I did that so that we could have this. 
Jesus, please forgive me for my sin. Whoa! Guys, stop this. I'm alive! Jesus, we know you're alive. Now hold still. If you know I'm alive, why do you keep treating me like I'm not? 